Hi, I'm Malia Baker. I'm Amona Tamata. I'm Sochi Gomez. I'm Sophie Grace. I'm Shay Rudolph. We're the cast of the Babysitter's Club, and we're at home with 17 to play superlatives. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel. All of us, <laughs> uh, we we had to keep this show a secret for a very long time. Momo, I think Momo is pretty good at keeping secrets. I think I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that's me because after you tell me your secret, after a week, I will most definitely forget. Again, all of us, because we had to keep the BSC a secret for almost a year, so I don't I don't even think I could choose. I'd say all the girls are super trustworthy and I can go to them with anything, but Mamona might be the best at keeping secrets because her lips are locked and she has no need to gossip. I mean, she's always like, who am I gonna tell? Go ahead, you can tell me. That is a very tricky one because we were casted well. We could be just reading lines in any instance. This happened multiple times. And all of a sudden we'd be like, yep, that is definitely something you would have said. I think I would have to say Sophie. She's not like super bossy or as like mean as Christy can be. Christy's not mean, but like she can be really bossy. Mm, but Sophie's not like that, I promise. Um, but. She's just, she's a natural leader and she has these great ideas and she can be really comforting. And she's a great friend. All of us, it's kind of crazy. When we all got the scripts, it was kind of the same mutual feeling that we felt like we like saw ourselves in the script. All of us. <laughs> all of us. Everyone is so nice. I'm gonna submit everyone for being the nicest person. <laughs> We're all nice people and all the girls are so thoughtful and so generous and so caring and always so inclusive of each other. But Malia takes this to a different extent. Like, think about a giant teddy bear just hugging you and that's Malia's personality. She won't even pick a favorite color because she is so worried about hurting the other color's feelings. Malia is hilarious. Sochi, like her laugh, like brightens your whole day. Sophie makes like the f the best jokes ever. Like Shay, like we have so many inside jokes together. Everyone's hilarious. Malia is so funny without even trying. I think I'd have to put Sochi. She's always on set and she's always like goofing off or. I think she's definitely the silliest of the group. The funniest, I would have to say, Sochi. You know, we're all funny in our different kinds of ways. You know, we're 14, so we're not really talking about hopeless romantic stuff. I would say Shay, 100%. Definitely Shay. Shay, 110%. Me. She manifests her love life a lot. She has all these awesome love stories to tell us. Sochi might be the best babysitter out of all of us because, like I said, she is so energetic and just so much fun to be around. And kids are always like following her around on set whenever we had a younger person acting with us. So she might be the best babysitter, yeah. Malia would be a really good babysitter. She's an older sibling, so she kind of already has that responsible side to her. And she's super fun to be around and she's very good arts and crafts and making snacks. So she would be a great babysitter. This person I'm gonna pick is because they have had a lot of babysitting experience within their family and their community. And that is Sophie Grace, she's done a lot of babysitting experience. The best babysitter, even though I feel like we're all, we can all be very good babysitters, would have to be Sophie. I think she has a lot of like experience in her past with babysitting, coming from like a small neighborhood and being practically her town's Christie. And so she has a lot of experience with younger kids, especially, especially since she's the middle child in her family and her family's really big. So she has a lot of experience and I've seen her with my little sister and I feel like my little sister looks up to Sophie, like she's another big sister. 
So I'd have to say Sophie. Sophie. She's I like she's always telling like us about her fun like babysitting adventures. I think Sophie would probably start a babysitter's club of her own. She's a lot like Christy. She likes to be the leader. She's very strong-willed and outgoing. So I think she definitely has that same personality that would want to start their own club. Sochi, I think she would totally start her own like babysitter's club. I can see it. She's always finding like fun, like new and original ways to do things. So Sochi, 100%. I admit I have tried multiple times to start babysitters clubs in my neighborhoods that I've lived in. I think Momo would fit in the best at Stony Brook. She's definitely a lot like Claudia, so she has that cool girl side to her. And um, yeah, she'd be the Claudia of any school that she goes to. And also I think Sochi would fit in pretty well at Stony Brook as well. All of us, I think. Again, all of us because if one of us wasn't there, it would definitely not feel right. I definitely don't think that Malia or Momo or Sochi or I would fit in at Stony Brook because Sochi and I are kind of big city people, but Shay is so good at adapting to new environments and like Stacy, the new girl, she is very good at making friends and is always so kind to everyone. So I think she might fit in the best just because she is such a social person. Hmm. I feel like Sophie would be the person that would fit in at Stony Brook. She is that type of person that will just fit in with whoever she's talking to. Uh, well, there's 216 books, if I'm correct, and that's a lot of books. I tried, I tried to get as many as I could and read them all. Sochi, I, I would say Sochi because any time like, I need to borrow a book, like a Babysitter's Club book, she always has it, even if like I can't find it. Also, Malia has quite, quite the collection of Babysitter's Club books as well. Sochi. She is like the Babysitter's Club dictionary when it comes to any questions you might have. Sochi read every single book. I think she owns every single copy known to man of the Babysitter's Club. Sochi read so many books when she got the role. I kid you not, she ordered probably like every single one and I would not be surprised if she read like a hundred in a week. <laughs> Ah, uh, Shay. She, yeah, Shay. She is the most fashionable, I think. Um, she would come on the set and she would be wearing all these cool, funky clothes and like these really nice t-shirts. And she, it, she would make it look like it wasn't that hard and like, oh, there's no effort. But it looked so good all the time. She looked like an off-duty model. I would choose maybe like Sochi or Shay. They. They have incredible closets for sure. I would say Sochi and I. Sochi wears really cool like thrifted and vintage clothes and I really like her style. She has some awesome fashion sense and um, I think I have a pretty cool fashion sense too because also playing Stacy definitely influenced my fashion sense in real life. Um, we're all pretty fashionable, um, but in because fashionable is such like a a broad thing, um, we all kind of fit in that in our own different ways, so I can't just pick one. For Sochi, she's probably the most fashionable in my eyes because I absolutely adore her style. And it's so funky and yet it doesn't always totally perfectly match, and yet she pulls it off and makes it seem like it could have been sold as a set. She can rock anything. So Sochi might be the most fashionable because her style not only matches her personality, but everyone, like it's head turning. Everyone loves it. Me. Saying goodbye was probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And I tried to potty train dogs. If I had to pick one of us, I think I would pick Momo because 
at the beginning she was like she was trying to keep it in and she was like oh it's gonna be fine i'm gonna see you guys like next time or later momo had one more scene to do and she just like keeping it in until they said that's a wrap on the babysitter's club and she started pouring her eyes out like the rest of us everybody i have so many answers that answer with everybody but we all did have a really hard time saying goodbye including the crew as well we had such a fun casting crew and have so many great memories on set so saying goodbye was so so hard and like all of us bawling our eyes out and then it was this whole yeah it was hard very hard thanks for watching don't forget to watch the babysitters club now streaming on netflix for more videos like this subscribe to 17's youtube channel peace out <laughs> bye